Good morning. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm starting this video at my storage unit. I figured I would film a little vlog style day in the life video for you guys today. So we're starting my day off in my storage unit as I do every single day. I'm going to pull my sales that need shipped out today. We have about 10 or 11 sales to ship out. Things have definitely be been picking up. And what's funny is I haven't listed anything brand new since last Thursday. It is now Tuesday, the day after the solar eclipse. But it is 8 o'clock in the morning on the dot. We're going to go inside. We're going to pull our sails. So, yeah, let's just get right to it. So, I'm not going to bring you along with me as I pull the sails. But I will show you everything that I'm shipping out today when I'm done pulling them. All right. So, I have pulled everything that I need to ship out. Like I said, you guys, it's actually a decent amount of items today, which I'm really happy about. It really goes to show that me not listing items didn't really affect my business too much because I was delisting and relisting a ton of items even when I wasn't able to list new ones. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm shipping out today really quick. I will pop up the sale details next to me. This first item was actually returned to me previously. It is in this really loud poly mailer. I don't use these clear ones anymore. These were like the first ones I've ever used. These ones are terrible. But this is a vintage Y2K Sonoma denim dress. This sold on Depop. If I remember correctly, she sent me an $18 offer. I went ahead and accepted. Like I said, this was returned to me previously, I think for fit on eBay. And I've had it for a decent amount of time. This next item is another dress. This is by Maeve from Anthropology. Super adorable embroidered dress. It does have a slip with it inside, which I thought was awesome because a lot of times slips will be missing. I've had this for a few months, but I did list this out of season. I can't remember off the top of my head what this sold for. This sold on Mercari. I do know that. I think she sent me a $21 offer possibly, and I went ahead and accepted that. This piece is a cider piece. This is just kind of a, like a fast fashion type website. But these are these super adorable lightweight corduroy paisley overalls. New with tags. I've had these for a decent amount of time. You know, these don't retail for a lot. Probably shouldn't have even picked these up. But when somebody sent me a $15 offer on Poshmark, I went ahead and accepted that. This next item, funny, because I, I swore that I got rid of this piece during my inventory purge. Turns out I didn't. I was just thinking about it because this was, a, this was in a bin that I haven't gotten to yet. But this is a Elizabeth and James, which is a brand I don't pick up anymore. They sell this at Kohl's now, so the value has really gone down. But I've had this for over a year now. Like I said, I was planning on getting rid of it in my inventory purge, but sold on Poshmark for $20. And I believe that was my full asking price. So I'm really happy to see that piece go. And I'm really happy to see it sold before I was going to donate it. Now, this piece was actually a relatively quick flip. Listed this about a month ago. This is a new with tags, Old Navy women's denim jacket, but it's like that kind of chore style jacket new with tags double xl i can't remember off the top of my head you guys i'm so sorry all my sales details are on my phone that's the unfortunate thing about filming and having to film on my phone you know i can't afford a camera right now so when i have to film on my phone i'm not able to look at my phone for the information and I can't remember everything off the top of my head, but I believe that sold relatively cheaply, but I went ahead and accepted an offer, you know, everything I get at the bin, so it's really cheap. But yeah, I think it sold for at least $20. Now this piece sold on Depop. This is a vintage Harley Davidson button up shirt. This was actually my ex-boyfriend's. He gave this to me about, I wanna say only about a month ago. And I had it listed for $30. Somebody sent me a $25 offer, offer on Depop, which I absolutely accepted. Like I said, I had zero cost of goods into that. So this next piece was a full price sale on Poshmark, which really surprised me. This is a vintage St. John's Bay. It is a petite size, but it's this chunky knit kind of, it kind of gives me like picnic vibes, checkered print sweater vest that sold for my full asking price of $25 on Poshmark. This was a shocking sale. I got this probably about a month and a half ago. Definitely too late into the season, but I got this at the bins. I just thought 
that this was a really unique style sweater. It's collared, super chunky knit, but it's kind of open knit as well. The brand is BKG New York. I've never heard of this brand. The tag looked really interesting. Turns out it's not worth a whole lot, but this sold really quickly, which I was happy about. I believe that sold for around $20, so not terrible. This piece I've had for about a year or almost. This is a J. Jill love linen tank top. Now the problem with this is, is that it's a size small. Small sizes in J. Jill really sit for me and I really only pick up plus sizes nowadays. If this was a plus size, this probably would have flew off the shelf, but I love this tropical print. That sold pretty cheap as well. I believe it was either for $12 or $18 on Poshmark, or maybe that was on eBay. I don't remember you guys. I've had sales on all platforms lately, which is amazing, but it makes it hard to keep track of where everything is selling when I'm not in, my, in front of my computer and I can't look at it. So this piece, again, a really quick flip. I just showed this a few hauls ago. This is a vintage Gitano Little Girls 3T acid wash jeans with these cute little bows. Oh my goodness. Again, I don't remember what these sold for, but I will pop up the picture for you guys. This piece sold about a half an hour ago, like literally this morning. Probably shouldn't have picked this piece up, honestly, but this is a new with tags, Colosseum, which like makes a lot of sportswear stuff. But the team is really, I've never heard of it. It's a Maryland team. But this sold for $12 on eBay. I do remember that. Buyer sent me an offer. Went ahead and accepted. Got that at the bins as well. Like I said, probably shouldn't have picked it up. So when somebody sends me an offer on pieces that I kind of regret picking up, I will accept so fast. This piece, again, a really quick flip. This I showed in a recent haul. This is Calia by Carrie Underwood. Kind of funnel neck, has these really oversized sleeves, balloon sleeves, textured. This was a size extra large, which I guarantee helped it. I absolutely love this piece, honestly. But this sold for, I want to say $20 or $23. These pair of vintage jeans I've had for a decent amount of time, but these are a pair of vintage Lee from the 90s, super acid wash. These are a petite size, which I think definitely affected it. Somebody sent me an offer on these and I went ahead and accepted. Like I said, I'll pop up the picture for you guys. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I thought it was funny. These jeans kind of match the toddler jeans that I sold, like you guys. This style is everything. I love finding it. I love selling it. This piece, I was happy to see go as well. This is another out of season item. So this is by Brooks Brothers and this is 100% camel hair. So it's super soft, super warm, more of a winter blazer. But somebody sent me a $40 offer on Poshmark last night. I had it listed at $50. I'm like, yeah, absolutely. Went ahead and accepted that so quick. I've had this for only a few months as well. Honestly, most of these pieces, besides maybe the Elizabeth James, were relatively quick flips, which makes me so happy. It means that something that I'm doing is working. So we only have a few more pieces left. This piece I've had for almost a year, probably about six months. I actually found two of these when I found this in two different sizes. The other one sold really quickly, but this is by the brand Roper. This is vintage, total kind of patriotic vibes. Look at that, you guys. Oh my goodness. This sold for my full asking price on eBay of $28.81. I've had so many full price sales over the past two days and I really hope they keep coming. And then the last sale we're going to go over actually really surprised me, you guys. It is a bundle sale from Depop, which is the first time I have ever had a bundle sale from Depop. So I found out over this past weekend that on Depop, you're actually supposed to refresh your items, kind of share your items like you do on Poshmark. So there is no share button. You don't actually share them, but you have to refresh them several times a day. You know, at least twice a day would be my advice but like on Poshmark you have to share your listings to get them to the top of the search feed the same goes for Depop and I had no idea until this past weekend so I was just listing stuff on eBay you know I would re-list and delist some stuff every day but for the most part I would list it and forget about it but unfortunately you cannot do that like I would send buyers offers all the time when they like my stuff but otherwise I would list it and forget about it and 
turns out you can't do that. You have to refresh your listing. So how you do that if you sell on Depop is you literally just go into your listing that you want to refresh. You edit it and you post it and it will show that it was refreshed. You don't even have to change anything about it. And so there are actually bots that help you do that kind of like, you know, Posh or VA helps you share your Poshmark closet. Now, unfortunately, it looks like you have to get a separate one for that. I'm right now in the free trial of a kind of refresh bot. I hate the word bot. I'm going to say I'm going to say refresh program. So I'm currently in the two week free trial. It seems to be definitely helping already. I'm not going to lie. Like a lot of it, I think four of these sales or three of these sales were from Depop. So I will definitely keep you guys updated and let you know how that goes. It is, I believe, $10 or $12 a month after the free trial. I'm assuming that I'm going to pay for it because I there's no way that I can sit and refresh my listings every day on Depop. And if I just make one sale, not even one sale. If I make half a sale on Depop, which is impossible. So if I make one sale on Depop, that will cover the cost of the sharing refreshing service. You know, they also have other features for Depop, but I feel like the one I would mostly use is the refresh one. So you guys, if you sell on Depop and you didn't know, you have to refresh your items. So I'm really hoping, you know, like I said, now that I've been doing that consistently for a couple days, I'm really hoping that it's pleasing the algorithm. I'm really hoping to get some more traction to my Depop store. So anyways, back to this bundle sale. Again, both are really quick flips. This was a vintage Coldwater Creek size medium tapestry jacket. Showed this in a recent haul as well. And then the second piece I got was also a vintage Coldwater Creek piece. I loved this piece so much. I am so happy that it's going to a new home. And again, vintage Coldwater Creek, size medium, total gothic kind of renaissance vibes. I loved this piece so, so much. So to be honest with you, I was at the bins pretty much all day yesterday. And this sale came in right when I pulled up to the bins, which like made my entire day. But I did not look yet to see how much the buyer paid for both items. They get a little bit of a shipping discount on Depop. I have a bundle discount deal type thing but i will pop up on the screen what they paid and what they paid for both items all right you guys so we have all of our sales this is a lot of sales to be shipping out for a tuesday this is like my weekend sales but not complaining definitely so happy to see sales picking up so yeah i'm gonna go home and we will ship out these sales well i was getting ready to leave i literally was outside my unit shutting the door and i'm like wait a minute let me double check and make sure i didn't forget everything anything I literally forgot two things. So I'm so glad I remembered to check. So I'm going to pull them real quick. The first piece took a few months to sell. It is this vintage PSU Penn State University crew sweatshirt. I loved kind of the floral print inside the lettering. And the second item was actually a really quick flip. So we'll probably within just a month. And the other piece that I forgot to grab was this Alfred Dunner blouse, vintage. It was like semi-sheer, but look at this pattern, you guys, which is why I picked it up. And yes, okay, now we're gonna go home and ship our sales. You guys, it is such a nice day out today. I literally cannot get over it. Spring is finally here and I am ready for it. So also, I have been really wanting to implement some sort of exercise into my routine because I literally don't exercise like the most exercise I get is chasing after my kids and the bins <laughs> but really so I've been really wanting to not necessarily go to the gym but I've been really wanting to implement some sort of exercise routine and I think I'm going to start that today and that is going to be just me going on a morning walk every single morning we're going to start out small here we're going to do baby steps I just want to get my body moving get it feeling energized get it ready for every single day so I have decided that every morning besides probably bins mornings because when I go to the bins I literally leave and head there as soon as I drop the kids off at daycare but um, every morning after I come to the storage unit and go back home, I will package my sales up, set them out for my mailman, and then I'm going to go on a little morning walk for at least 30 minutes at a minimum 
every single day and I'm just kind of really excited about it to be honest with you this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time something I've been thinking about with cold weather I hate the cold I hate the snow I hate the winter so I'm not really going to be doing it then so now's a great time to start so I'm home now. The first thing I usually do when I get home is I put my bags down and I come and make coffee because by the time I get back home, I definitely need it. So that's what we're going to do. I try to not order out coffee a lot. I try to not go out for coffee a lot. Maybe once a week I will treat myself to some Dunkin' or Starbucks. But otherwise, I just make coffee at home to save money. And I'm a big creamer girly. I love trying different creamers. I recently found this at the store. Coffee Mate Eggo Waffles and Maple Syrup. It legitimately tastes like breakfast. It smells like breakfast. Like, it smells so good. So yeah, I'm going to whip up some coffee real quick with my nice, pretty cheer egg that I have. I've had that for years. And then, we'll go, then we will ship out all of these sales. It is 8.53, so definitely moving a little slower this morning because I am filming, but it's totally fine. I feel like I'm just hanging out with a friend and I honestly love it. So I hope you guys enjoy this type of video. Definitely let me know down below. I know last time I did a vlog style kind of day in the life, people really enjoyed it. And so do I, a more casual rather than a sit down video. I really enjoy filming and editing, so much fun. So I got my coffee, I put a video on YouTube, on my TV, I typically watch another reseller, reseller content when I'm shipping my sales out in the morning. Today I'm watching Gloria's recent video, which is a reseller vlog, kind of day in the life, funny enough, which is what I'm filming today. If you've never watched her, Gloria Viaglo, definitely go check it out. I love how freaking real she is, how like, you know, she's amazing. She's also a mom. So yeah, that's who I'll be watching today. I'm going to package up these sales, do a little montage, and we will chat when I'm done. Also, I forgot to mention the contractors have been working upstairs again this week. I'm pretty sure they are completely gutting that apartment. So with that being said, it's probably going to be really loud here today, which is unfortunate because I'm going to be here pretty much all day, you know, taking photographs. I don't even think I mentioned yesterday. I went to the bins, keep an eye out for some hauls, but yesterday I went to the bins. I got 63 items. I paid only a dollar and 17 cents per item. But as I mentioned earlier in this video, I haven't listed anything new since Thursday. So I really need to photograph items today. And you know, I'm filming. I would love to film a haul today at some point. And if they are going to be loud upstairs, that's going to be extremely hard. So I'm hoping maybe they have another job to do today or something like that, but we will see how that turns out. They are not here yet and it is nine o'clock in the morning. Normally they would be here, but yesterday when I got home from the bins, they were upstairs working and it was extremely loud. Luckily, you know, I was not here for very long and I was outside watching the eclipse. If you guys got to experience that at all, let me know. I was not in the direct path, but I did get to experience it. It didn't get pitch black here. Um, I don't know if it did anywhere, honestly, but it was wild. Me and my neighbors in the apartment building all kind of hung out outside on the porch. My one neighbor had a couple extra pairs of glasses. I don't even have glasses myself. I'm really thankful that she had some to share. And yeah, it was, it was really, it was cool. It was a great, great experience, great memory. And my daughter got to experience it at her school. She's in first grade. So they got all the kids glasses and the teachers and they went outside and got to experience it. And she's like, wow, it's so cool. Even when I picked her up, like it was still technically happening. It was just the peak time when we were hanging out outside, you know, but when I picked them up from daycare, like, you know, my two year old doesn't understand it. He's two. But my six year old, you know, she was all excited. She could still see it a little bit. It was still covering the sun a little bit. It was, it was honestly a cool experience. And I am obsessed with, you know, the stars, the moon, the sun, the sky, nature in general. I just love, you know, the sky especially. So, and I just saw 
the contractor pull up. So I spoke a little bit too soon, literally a minute too soon. <sighs> so it's probably gonna be a loud day. So I got everything into clear poly bags. Before I ship everything out, I put them in clear poly bags. Now I'm gonna ship them out. I did print all of my labels this morning. I have a bunch, like I said. It was a really great day yesterday. Some of these, a few of these are from really late, what was yesterday, Monday? A few of these are from really late Sunday night. Since I went to the bins yesterday right away, I didn't have a chance to ship them out. But most of these are from yesterday or overnight or even this morning. So it is 9.19. My mailman typically gets here around 10 o'clock. That's usually the earliest he gets here. Although I've seen him here at like 9.30 before. Hopefully today's not that type of day. Normally he's here at 10 o'clock or later. So I have 40 minutes to package these up. Plenty of time. I feel like I'm moving really slow this morning, like I said, but it's okay. We don't always have to be in a rush and I need to tell myself that. Like, I feel like part of my anxieties and my time anxieties especially like I don't know if that's the thing but I always say I have time anxiety like I always feel like I have so much to do not enough time I feel like I'm gonna be late I feel like I don't know I just feel like always in a rush too and I feel like that's a big part of it and I need to just remind myself to slow down once in a while yes it's 9 19 in the morning but it's only 9 19 in the morning Ashley I mean I act like it's 9 19 at night and I'm just shipping my sales no it's 9 19 in the morning it's gonna be okay deep breaths it's gonna be okay and if you're the type of person that's kind of always in a rush 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 I feel like America in general is a very rushy like we're always in a rush you know what I mean if you're that type of person as well take a deep breath slow down your body and your mind will thank you you guys oh my goodness I forgot a different item like what is going on today okay so I have this dress that I sold that I showed you guys. This is a Sonoma Y2K overall dress. I sold a very similar one by the brand Basic Editions that I recently picked up actually a week and a half ago when I went to the bins. I sold that one as well and I forgot to grab it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Not a big deal. That one sold on Depop as well, I believe. It was either Depop or Mercari. It's hard to tell by these labels because they look the same. Depop's labels and Mercari's labels look exactly the same, but I will just ship that out tomorrow. It literally sold yesterday, so it's not a big deal. eBay is, you know, I have my shipping time set to one day, so that is kind of a big deal. But since this sold on Depop, like I said, or Mercari, pretty sure it was Depop, I can wait until tomorrow. It's not going to change anything, but I'm just like, nah. Does anybody do this? Like I said, the Soma dress and the basic edition dress, very, very similar. I did not want to mess them up and accidentally ship them to the wrong person. So on this label, I put Sonoma because I'll put the brand of what the item is. And then I put check it, Ashley. Because, <laughs> you know, like I said, I'm in a rush a lot of times. I'll just be like, doot, 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 and I'll grab the wrong dress thinking it's the other brand. So I put a note on there for myself and I put check it, Ashley. I mean, I forgot the other dress, like I said, but had I not, yeah. Does anybody put little notes like that for themselves? I'm gonna put a thank you in with the Cold Water Creek bundle, a thank you note. I don't do it often. If a viewer buys something, I will definitely put a thank you note in. But since this person bought both of these items, I figured I would just throw this in. I have a couple different options, but this is the one I'm gonna be putting in.
I am done packaging all my sails up. I'm gonna put them in a bag now. Hopefully they will fit in one bag. That's definitely the goal. All right, you guys, I was able to squeeze these into one bag. I try to put it in one bag. I don't have any big bags right now. All of my bins finds are in them. And also the mailman has one from yesterday, but I try to use bigger bags. My mailman is the sweetest. So I'm gonna run these downstairs. I am starving, you guys. I typically am not one that will wake up hungry in the morning right away. It usually takes me a few hours. Sometimes I'll wake up really hungry, which I do not like, but I am really hungry right now. So I think I am going to run these downstairs real quick. Before my mailman gets here, I'm gonna come upstairs. I'm gonna eat a little breakfast, probably just some yogurt for now. And then I'm gonna go on my morning walk, my first morning walk of hopefully many. So I'm going to sit here on the couch for a few minutes, watch this video, eat some yogurt. I recently started eating these Activia yogurts, which I've always heard. Probiotic yogurt is supposed to be good for you. I don't eat the best. I don't have the best diet. So I've been trying to find small ways to get more fruits and stuff, especially fruit. For some reason, I'm not really a big fruit eater. I eat a lot of vegetables, but um, finding small ways to make my diet a little better. You know what I mean? So I'm going to eat this. And then I'm gonna go on a walk. Cheers. Another thing I wanted to do today, I thought of this earlier, I forgot. <laughs> now I thought of it again, um, was since it is now April, it is April 9th, we are in the second quarter, which means eBay gives people who have a store subscription a coupon for packaging supplies. I'm running low on poly mailers. You guys probably saw in the montage, I was using some white ones and some lemon ones. Those are ones I had to buy myself. Typically I'll use the eBay ones that I get with their coupon. So I'm going to show you guys how exactly to do that on eBay. So I'm in my selling hub. So you go to my eBay selling <clears throat> and then you go to marketing. Oh wait, no, sorry. <laughs> wait a minute. Store subscriber discounts now again you only get this coupon if you have a store on ebay so if you pay a monthly fee to have a store which i do i don't remember which one i have i don't have the basic one i have like the third level one i pay about sixty dollars a month if you have a store you will get a quarterly coupon so once you do go under subscriber discounts over here you will say you will see ebay shipping supplies this coupon just came out for the second quarter this expires june 30th i'm gonna use it right now see details there's a coupon go ahead and try to use it it's already used <laughs> i know none of you guys would but if you do that it will copy your coupon now start shopping it will take you to their store where you will see all of the shipping supplies you can get. Like I said, typically I get not these ones. What size do I get? Let's see here. I have bought boxes in the past. Normally I get the not padded. I think normally I get the nine by 11 and a half. Or maybe, I think this time I'm going to get the 12 by 5 inch. Those are a little bit bigger. Poly mailers. These ones are colored. I think they also have, they used to have non-colored ones. I've also gotten tape. They have so many items that you can buy with the coupon. I've gotten this tape. Um, yeah, so definitely, if you have a store on eBay, you definitely want to take advantage of that. So I'm going to do this real quick so I don't forget that orders typically get here really fast too. Like this will probably be here by the end of this week or by Saturday and it's only, and it's Tuesday right now, like I said. So do not forget to take advantage of that. One thing I will mention about the eBay coupon is you do have to still pay tax for the items that you buy, my tax was $3.17. I got 200 of those 12, with 12 by 15 poly mailers. And with my $50 coupon, that's the coupon that I get every quarter, I have to pay only $5.85 out of pocket. So $3.17 of that is tax. So $5.85 out of my pocket for 200 poly mailers. You can't beat that. Almost back home now. Been walking for about 30 minutes. 
such a nice day out. And my mailman's here. I am home, you guys. I'm out of breath. Such a beautiful day out, seriously. I'm sweating a little bit, which I feel like, don't look at my hair. And I feel energized. I was walking for about 30 minutes, not even, probably like, when I went outside, it was 10, 12. It is now 10, 31, so almost 25 minutes and probably walked about a mile. My legs hurt by the end of it, which is very embarrassing. But like I said, I don't really do much exercise and this is a great way to start. So I'm gonna take a little breather, drink some water. And then my next step is going to be start inventorying some finds from yesterday. So like I said, I went to the bins and I got 63 items, but also yesterday evening, while my daughter was in dance class, there's a thrift store a few minutes up the road from where she does dance. And so my son, Dallas, and I went into this thrift store. I didn't find too much, but I found four pieces for $35, which is a lot, that hurts. One of the things is actually a matching set, but I'm gonna inventory those pieces first, and I will show you guys those pieces in this video. Since it's only a few items, I'm obviously not going to do a separate haul for it, but I will show you those in just a moment. Okay, so I'm going to go through the items that I got yesterday at the first store. I need to take all the tags off. I did get a pair of shoes. I was shocked when I looked up comps for those. I will talk about them in a second. But all the things I got yesterday were really pretty good pieces. Mine is the one I probably should have left behind, to be honest. But it was a last-minute pickup. So I am going to take all the tags off. This I'm going to try to get off with some acetone nail polish remover. I hate that thrift stores write the prices on the bottom. I mean, I understand why they do it. But as a reseller, it's frustrating. Okay, so I'm going to take all these tags off and then we will talk about the items as I'm putting them into my inventory spreadsheet. So unfortunately, my average cost of goods for this trip was pretty high. It was $8.75. Hi, buddy. Um, which is obviously much higher than I'm used to paying. I did look up comps on all the items except the last one in the store this first piece is a brand i don't think i've ever heard of it's called simply art by dole seza i think that's how you say it the size tag is cut out unfortunately but look at this super artsy jacket so it has kind of the structure of a denim jacket but it's super stretchy it's not denim this is a super artsy brand now this does not have a 100 percent sell-through rate but it's very close there are currently 122 pre-owned available and there are 87 sold so not 100 percent, but probably closer to 60 65% which is fine with me and these jackets are selling between you know 30 between like 40 and 55 to 60 dollars pre-owned so when I saw that in the store I was totally fine with that this I think the tag was marked at like ten dollars but again I take my average cost of goods so I take what I paid for all the items divided by the number of items I got so I paid 35 dollars for this trip divided by the four items that I got which equals eight dollars and seven 75 cents so anyways i did not see this exact one listed or sold i know you guys heard that i'm so sorry like i said it's gonna be really loud up here hasn't been too bad yet it seems like they're working in a back room but i'm gonna have to kind of talk between the drilling and the hammering and all the noise so anyways i did not see any of this exact one listed or sold but this one even sold for $108 pre-owned. So I think I'm gonna shoot kind of high. I think I'm gonna list mine around $55. Okay, that's not kind of high. Some are, you know, like I said, some are selling around $39, $40, all the way up to around $55. It's probably the average, a couple more, a couple lower, but I'm gonna probably list this around $55. It definitely looks like a bigger size probably an extra large i will include measurements of course i might even list it around 59 dollars. 
so much going on. My cat's over there by the window now meowing at the birds and stuff outside. <laughs> so my title for this is going to be Simply Art by Dol... I cannot figure out how to say that. So my title for that is Simply Art by Dolceza Jacket, Women's Size Extra Large Stretch Art to Wear Funky Geometric. Now I do believe that's probably more than 80 characters. I cannot tell until I transfer that to eBay. But if it is, I will change art to wear to artsy and then I will put art to wear in my description. The next item we're going to put into my spreadsheet are these sneakers. Like I said, I was really surprised when I saw these in the thrift store. I didn't even know what brand they were right away, but I saw that on the side. I saw that. This and the insole. They just looked like a nice quality shoe. So in the store, I did a quick Google image search. I figured out that these are the Under Armour Curry Flow sneakers. And I looked up a comp in eBay and it shocked me by the comps. So an exact pair like this sold for $51.99. That pair had zero insoles in it. And on average, these shoes are selling for around 60 to like $80. I was mind blown. Pre-owned by the way, new, they're going for way more. Now these are a men's size 11 and a half, which is a great size. So these shoes, like I said, I have to get that off the bottom. They do have a little bit of wear. I'll probably scrub the soles as well, just because they're worth a lot. So I'm going to take these shoes. I'm going to grab my nail polish remover, which is up here on my little organizer that I have next to my shipping station. Don't mind the fuzzy socks down there. So sorry for that noise. Oh my goodness. So we're going to take that. I usually have Q-tips up there, but I'm out. And I'm going to take this to the kitchen and get the Sharpie off. I was afraid of that happening. The, the material and the texture of the sole is kind of like foam. So I was kind of afraid of that not coming off and I was correct. I mean, look at that. You could tell where I tried it. But, you know, these have a little bit of wear, but nothing too major. I'm probably going to list these around, I don't know, maybe $70. And I don't think I mentioned, but there are 73 pre-owned that have sold. And there are currently 194 available. So, okay, well, that's in women's clothing. Why? Why? I hate eBay's search sometimes. Like, it's so finicky. Okay, so let's filter to pre-owned. So there's currently 172 available pre-owned. Now, that's not the exact colorway. That's just the Under Armour Curry Flow sneakers. And there are 68 sold. So again, not 100% sell-through rate, but they're selling for a decent amount, which is why I was okay with picking them up. I love selling shoes as well. Very little effort needed. I'll scrub the soles. I'll take the Sharpie off. Photos are super easy. And yeah, so I'll probably list these around, let's see, probably list those around 70, 65 or $70. So I just Googled the serial number, which is something I've not done yet. And I figured out that these are the Under Armour Curry Flow Go Glow. That's like the color style. So I looked that up on eBay to be a little more specific. There were a couple sold so like i said 51.99 one sold pre-owned these sold for 36 those sold for on a best offer of 85 those ones are cool and sold for 200 those ones are like rainbow in the back um i also saw two brand new ones that sold for let me see one sold for 90 dollars. it just showed me i just saw it and that won't come up one sold for like 90 and one sold for I think a hundred. So I think I'm going to list mine for around $65 or best offer. Also, I'm currently having a 10% sale on eBay. So that will automatically come off of that. 
and my title for that I recently changed my title structure I used to put like before I would put I mean this is pretty much the same but I will put what the item is like for instance the last one I put that it's a simply art by Dolceza jacket women's size extra large before I would put simply art by Dolceza women's jacket size extra large and then put keywords but I like to put women size extra large in the first you know few words and then at the end I will put the keywords so for these I will put Under Armour Curry Flow sneakers no you know what I'm gonna put Under Armour Curry Flow Go Glow sneakers men's size 11 and a half basketball running black orange and I just realized the one pair that sold were a men's size six and a women's size seven and a half, which is a smaller size. Mine are 11 and a half, which is a great size. So I think I'm going to actually play it safe, you guys. I keep changing this, but I'm always, I feel like my problem in the past was pricing too high. So I think I'm going to price it at $59.81. If you ask me why 81 cents, I don't know. Um, a lot of people do like 99 cents. I wanted something a little different so I did 81 I just chose that one day and I just stuck with it so totally random um, so yeah fifty nine dollars and eighty one cents I'm gonna set these to the side so I can scrub the soles a little bit and moving on this is the item that I should have probably left behind you guys I saw this quickly as I was leaving these are a pair of soft surroundings jeans size 10 petite I just noticed that too, you guys. I should have left these behind. What was I thinking? I wasn't thinking, honestly. It was a long day. I had gone to the bins yesterday morning. And then this was in the evening time at like 5.30. I was at the thrift store. I was drained. I was exhausted. <laughs> but anyways, it's totally fine. I'm still going to make a profit. I'm definitely going to list on the lower end. So soft surroundings, size 10 petite, cropped jeans. And look at the hemline of these so beautiful satin beaded embroidered and i did find a stock photo for these which i love that definitely helped so i looked up a comp quickly when i got home yesterday should have done it in the store like i said so these are called the Nevea jeans i saw a pair that sold for 19 dollars 95 pre-owned which is very low um another pair pre-owned sold sold for 29 dollars 99 and available right now let's see here there's some you know people are listing them right around like 25 dollars i am going to check the size okay let's see it looks like there is a 10 petite listed wait a minute maybe not okay not the exact ones when i filter to 10 petite okay these ones are these ones are the same exact thing these are brand new listed at 36.99 okay and so far i'm not seeing any pre-owned of that nope none pre-owned of that exact style in the exact size listed right now which will definitely help me like i said i do want to list on the lower end since comps aren't that high i don't want them to sit that long i'm not going to make a ton of profit but i want to make my money back quickly and then a little bit of profit so these i'm going to title them as soft surroundings nevea jeans women's size 10 petite beaded floral hem boho oh wait Nevea cropped jeans wait okay soft surroundings Nevea jeans women's size 10 petite cropped beaded floral hem boho I think that's really good I'm kind of second guessing my titles a lot but don't think too hard into it most important thing for me nowadays is to put the brand and what the item is and then the category and size so soft surroundings Nevea jeans women's size 10 petite that is most important and then the keywords at the end you know they're important they definitely help but i really focus on the first few words so anyways i'm gonna list these at 28 no i think that's too high should i list them at 25 and then i have the 10 percent off sale i think i'm gonna list them at 27.81 which is kind of an odd number i typically don't list them at that but because there is only a brand new pair listed in this size we're gonna see what happens and then the last item is a vintage two-piece set you guys look at this this was actually in a pajama set but I don't think it's a pajama set I'm not gonna list it as a pajama set so it's like this little cropped floral shirt with a matching pair of shorts oh my goodness little stretchy shorts and so cute it also has 
kind of like kind of looks like a leopard print behind it total hawaiian this is a size this says it's a size 42 i don't know what that means this is probably like a size extra large honestly which is a really good size i will include measurements of course but with vintage pieces most times you're not going to find the exact thing so when i did a comp for this first of all in the store i did not do a comp for this i knew it was going to sell also i just noticed there's buttons on the shoulders on the one shoulder so again with vintage pieces comps you know you're not going to find the exact thing but when i did a comp after i got home yesterday i just searched a vintage two-piece short set and i saw a few that were selling for right around 35 dollars, which is what i honestly planned on listing mine for anyways perfect time of year for this you know i can definitely imagine somebody wearing this to the beach oh my gosh like i feel like these shorts would be a little too big for me or I might consider it. I don't even know if I could pull that off. So anyways, I am going to go ahead and list these right around $35. The brand on this is More Honey. So for this, I'm going to put vintage. Anything that's vintage, I put the letters VTG for vintage at the beginning of my title. So I'm going to put vintage More Honey, which is the brand. Two-piece short set, women's size extra large floral hawaiian leopard y2k beachy i might put the word stretch in there instead of beachy but i feel like i you know i actually feel like this is more 90s what would you guys consider this more 90s style or more y2k style i feel like the two-piece sets are kind of 90s but anyways so vintage more honey two-piece short set women's size extra large floral hawaiian leopard 90s stretch if I have too many characters, sometimes I will take the word size out of my listing, depending on what it is and if it will make sense. So this, I'm going to list right at $35.81. So you guys, I just cleaned up those shoes as best as I could. You saw in the last clip, there was a lot of banging in the background, so I wasn't able to talk. They're done for a second. So... My next thing is going to be inventorying all, or not all, some of the items that I found yesterday at the bins. And that is all in here. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put everything into my inventory spreadsheet and then I'm going to take photos. Jasper is looking at me as if to say, what is that noise? He doesn't like it. And I think he thinks that I'm doing it, but I'm not. It's okay, buddy. It won't be forever. All right, you guys. So I think I'm going to go ahead and actually end the video here. It's only about 1130 in the morning. I have a bunch of photographs to do. Like I said, I have stuff to inventory, all boring stuff. And unfortunately, since I film on my phone and don't have a camera, big goal of mine, I can't, you know, film myself photographing since I use my camera to photograph. So anyways, I'm going to end the video here. I definitely had a ton of footage from this morning. So thank you for joining me on my morning. I feel like it's been really productive so far. Kind of slow, kind of slow moving, but I've been really productive. I did something for myself. And so yeah, thank you guys for joining me. Wish me luck with this noise. Let me know what you thought down below of this video. I definitely plan on doing more of this style in the future. I think it's really fun. Like I said, it feels like I'm just bringing a best friend along with me. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you're enjoying this spring weather. It is so beautiful out today and hopefully it is where you guys live too. So I will catch you in my next video.